should I or shouldn't I? Life can be pretty complicated when we think about all the things we are supposed to do. We think we can decide for ourselves, but how often do we find ourselves following the crowd and doing what is expected of us? We should be average. We should fit into the school system. We should get married to one person, have kids, never get divorced, never have feelings for another person your whole life. And we should not ever speak the truth when someone has the chance of being offended. These are the kinds of ideas that we live with in society and we don't even recognize it. And most of us find it difficult to live up to all these expected ideals of society. And this can cause great pain when we are not considered to be normal. But what is normal? Why are we so resistant of differences and change? What would it be like if people really behaved more honestly? Take a look at a child. They always say what is on their minds. They may cause some initial discomfort when they suddenly shout out things to another child or an adult that just happen to be on their mind at that moment. But notice how good children are at accepting the way they were raised. With one parent, gay parents, going to different countries, parental deaths, unusual arrangements, all of these things children naturally adapt to. When things change, children adapt. So when you consider all the shoulds and shouldn'ts in your life, and all the things you adhere to out of fear of being judged or ridiculed, remember that rules were made to be broken. Should is often a word used to maintain the status quo. Be honest with yourself and others. Be like children, adaptive and free. We are here to say how it is going to be in this century on earth and through our honesty and conviction we decide what is right for us. In the TV show Seinfeld it is often remarked that the characters are very cold and detached by social customs of the everyday man. But I think that one of the main reasons why this television show was so popular is that it helped identify for people a level of honesty that has not been present in many other TV shows of its generation. And so people felt as though they could identify with characters who really let you know what they were thinking. And it is this honesty that I believe is in the true nature of all of us. And we're often expected to think that we need to follow the social customs to be good people. But I think essentially all of us, we know what is good for us and what is right for us. And meant much of the time we don't need society's customs to tell us what is right and wrong. What would your life be like if you decided to be honest about everything? How would your life change? And what changes do you think would happen in society if everyone decided that we needed to be more honest and genuine with the way that we feel about things? Perhaps the idea of normal would completely change overnight when we recognize that there are many, many other people out there who are just like us who decide that they want to live life a little differently and that it's okay to live differently so long as you are being honest about what it is that you really want. And with the internet becoming more and more prevalent in our society, we are noticing more and more that we are not alone, that there are people of all walks of life with different experiences and they're able to communicate and they're able to talk about the way it has affected them the way they've dealt with certain issues and I believe this is helping us to create a society where we can identify 
with many different people of many different walks of life to help us adjust to the way the world is changing. And I think the core issue with all of this is to remember that it's okay to be honest. It's okay to live the life that you want the way that you want. And to remember to be more like children, enjoying things, being honest and feeling free and being more playful.